Bangor is getting ready for one of the busiest nights of the year with activities going on throughout the city. There is certainly no shortage of things to do this evening. That is correct. And New Center Maine's Hannah Yeshivi and Sam Rogers are in Bangor and they are here to talk about some of the early celebrations that are already going on. Hey guys. Hey guys, uh, glad you're safe and sound inside our Portland studio here in Bangor. We're braving the elements, and already, Hannah, we've seen a bunch of people out and about with seven hours to go until the ball drop. Good evening, guys. The celebrations here in Bangor are starting long before midnight. I'm here at the Bangor Public Library where people are walking in for an afternoon filled with activities and for the kids to experience the midnight ball drop before midnight. We are just hours away from the start of a new year and it will be celebrated all throughout Bangor. Starting off early at 5, the Bangor Public Library will have three hours of fun for kids and families. Opportunity for kids to learn about uh, outer space through the Northern Stars Planetarium and through the, uh, the Challenger Learning Center, which is going to have stations all through the library. We have all kinds of fun games for kids. It's going to be a trip into the universe type of celebration. The event is completely free and we are uh, we're, we're just glad that we can offer this event uh, to, to the public every year. Seasons Restaurant and Sports Bar is also getting ready to count down the final moments of 2019 with live music and special menu items. Uh, we're going to have some uh, prizes as well that we'll be getting, um, giving away, gift cards, shirts, so it's going to be a really good time. If you're looking for something to do to ring in the new year, Patty Murphy's will drop a ball from the top of the building. Yeah, the city loves it. It's a, uh, just, it, you know, it is what it is. It's a beach ball, but it's kind of become kind of a hit. People look forward to it, so yeah, they go crazy. Before and after the big ball drop, you can also raise your glass up for a special toast or grab a bite with your friends and family inside the bar. As far as bar service and food, it's definitely one of our busiest nights of the year. Uh, I don't know, I mean, it kind of hit or miss with, you know, people coming in and out, but generally right around like midnight, we're packed. So lots of places to celebrate here in Bangor, and luckily most of those events are indoors because it's still snowing here. Yeah, Hannah, you just mentioned the snow. We've been seeing it all morning here in Bangor. It started off with some movable, plowable snow, but the roads are still a little bit shaky. But regardless of the snow, here in downtown Bangor, the party still goes on. <laughs> 